Despite the poor investor sentiment that often accompanies bear markets, Palo Alto Networks has had no trouble executing on its multi-year operating transformation. Let's take a look. Just over four years ago, Palo Alto Networks shifted the company's focus to software-as-a-service cybersecurity solutions, and now the percentage of total sales derived from subscriptions and support services has jumped to 78.9%. A review of the company's operating performance shows the shift is paying off. Recurring revenue from these next-generation security solutions have soared. If stellar growth isn't convincing, consider that management has been making multiple bolt-on acquisitions. These smaller deals have helped the company expand its product and service ecosystem, as well as provided cross-selling opportunities that have encouraged cloud customers to purchase multiple cloud module subscriptions. With businesses shifting their data online and into the cloud at an accelerated pace, Palo Alto Networks appears well positioned to capitalize on this trend. So, let's take a look at the charts. We're now looking at the monthly chart on Palo Alto Networks, and the symbol is PANW. For disclosure purposes, I do not own any shares of Palo Alto at this time. Now the chart goes back to, say, 2013, and as you can see, we've got a stair step on the way up. So here's uh, the stair step on the way up, another stair step on the way up, a very short stair step, and a very high on the way up. Now, we're coming on down here, but it looks like we're probably going to stay above that 50 EMA if this low here stays relatively near the current area. So if we bottom and base in that area, above the 50 EMA, we'll have another stair in this area here. I'm not sure how long it's going to extend, but it looks to be pretty decent at this point. We were above $200 per share, and even though we've come all the way down to, say, 159.70 at this point here, that really is not that great of a fall, given how far some of the other tech stocks have fallen. Moving on down here into volume, volume looks fine. We're trundling our way through the evolution. Here into the MACD, you can see that top there with the fall all the way down here, but we're still at a level of 10. So that has a lot of strength left in it. There is a wide separation between the fast line there and the slow line here, which means there could be some volatility, perhaps some sideway movement, but we're well above that zero line. So I would imagine perhaps a bottoming and basing in this area here. That would be good news. This looks to be relatively strong in comparison to a lot of the other tech stocks. Now, into the histogram, we have fallen down here to, say, above or actually below that negative 5 level, but perhaps a bottoming and basing here is starting in the last couple of months. Moving here into the price rate of change, looks like we do have a separation between, again, the fast line and the slow line here, but we're near zero, a bit of sawtoothing going on, and all we need to see is some more sawtoothing going on, and if we also could bottom and base in this area, that would be another favorable oscillator. Relative strength is at a moderate 48.58, but we're near that 50 level, and it looks like it wants to do some sawtoothing here, Hasn't gone as low as here in 2020, and certainly hasn't gone this low there back in 2013. So perhaps it's setting up for another bottoming and basing in that area here, as it did in that territory and in this territory there. Moving on down into the stochastics, this also looks relatively decent. 
if it can bottom and base it looks like perhaps the very initial stages if it's back here to 2016 to 2017 this bottoming and basing did take about a year maybe a little bit longer well you have some time I'm not sure it's going to take that long but it could it's possible down into the Williams we had the maximum negativity at that point there say in late 2022 again in 2020 maximum negativity there 2017 that's maximum negativity there it doesn't seem to stay there very long and it hasn't it's come on out moving on up a little bit of a fish hook here so we'll see where it goes from this point i'd like to see it continue on and above that mid or 50 line heading on up so watch that williams closely Again, the other oscillators, I always like watching the MAC. This looks very favorable to me. In my opinion, being this high above the zero line shows some good strength in comparison to all those other stocks. Moving on up back to the price chart, one last look. And I'm hoping this is going to set another step here and then head on up. Well, only time will tell. But as usual, conduct your due diligence check out those fundamentals and for today that's judog charts thank you